our sauce using the deluxe cooking blender and also meatballs made in the air fryer. Yeah, we're going to put in the air fryer. And then to finish everything off, we're going to be um, boiling up some noodles and also some zucchini noodles because I'm going to be doing the zucchini noodles a little bit here and there. It helps you out losing weight, okay? And so I'm going to have a little bit of noodles and some uh, zucchini noodles. I'm going to show you how easy it is to do those, okay? So come on in. You're going to do a couple different things. If you're watching this on the replay, please put in hashtag replay and also give a thumbs up or a heart on the appropriate channel. This We are being broadcasted here on HAPS, which is a social media app that you can share out. It's going up to YouTube, over to Twitter, and also to Periscope, and Facebook. It's going to my Facebook VIP group, my business page, and also the party that we're doing right now, okay? So if, you're, I, uh, if you want to be host your own party or get a couple of your friends together, and I come in and I show you how to use your tools, it is so much fun, all right? Hello, and so if you see me talking to other people, the only way you can see all the comments is if you're on HAPS, H-A-P-P-S. Download the app, follow me over there. It's Alexa C underscore can do, because if I can do it in the kitchen, you can also do it in the kitchen, all right? All the individual apps that are out there, such as YouTube and Facebook, you'll see the individual uh, comments from that platform, but you will not see all of them together unless you're here on Haps. Hello, Marsha. How are you doing? Hello, Kristen. Hello, Lenny. All right, so let's get going. We're, we have time. We're on, a, we're on a budget roll here, okay? So we have the Deluxe Cooking Blender. The Deluxe Cooking Blender, you actually put in raw vegetables in there, and it cooks it up for you, okay? And it comes with its own cookbook, okay? Nice little cookbook right here, and we're actually doing the Hidden Veggie marinara pasta. Now I did add a couple other things such as onions and some red bell pepper to give it a little bit of sweetness. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to, oh, well, let's see, I'm going to go through here. We're going to, uh, this, I'm going to read the, um, the things out. It's a quarter cup of water, one tablespoon of Italian seasonings. We have some salt. I'm going to leave the salt out because there's a lot of salt in these cans right here. Sodium, it's about 8% of your daily intake. And then this one's also, let me see, this one is salt is sodium is 9%. Wow. All right. So we're going to have that and we can always add in salt, but it's really hard to take out salt. Okay. Hello, Mary. Hello, Captain Rehab. Hello, Tam uh, Tammy. How are you doing? All right. So we got that. We got, we're going to do some garlic cloves in here. We're going to need four garlic cloves. We need one cup of carrots peeled and cut into chunks, chunks, a small zucchini cut into chunks and a little bit of onion and some red bell pepper pieces. Okay. So uh, we're going to actually open up our cans. We're going to use our smooth edge can opener. Hopefully you can see this. Let me see if I can move you closer. I was going to try to move you closer, but I'm not sure if I can get you that close. We're going to put that uh, menu up there and I can see if I could slide you over. Let me put that up there and slide you even closer so that you can see what I'm doing. Right. Right. All right. So we're going to angle you down. Okay. I can barely see comments, but uh, the view is most important. Okay. So uh, here we go. We got the smooth edge can opener. We're just going to put this right on. We're going to put it right on top and go all the way around. When it goes all the way around, you're going to feel it like uh, get loose. And that way, you know, you did the 360 here. Okay like turned all the way around. All right, there, release it, reverse it back, and you're going to get this little piece right here and put it on the edge of your can because it looks like you didn't open it, okay? But you put this on here, and then you pull it up, all right? And this is smooth edge so that it doesn't cut you, all right? And we're going to dump this. Um, it, it calls for... Uh, add, oh, add in. We're going to add that in later. First, okay. So we're going to put that in last. I always have, I forgot the directions. So we got that. We're going to add that in last, okay? Because it says, um, oh, let me see. It says, meanwhile, add the sauce ingredients in the order listed into the pitcher, replacing the lock and lid, and turn the wheel to heat a price setting and, and, and hit start. When the timer is up, we're going to do cancel and we're going to remove the vented lid and carefully add the potato of uh, the tomatoes, which are the petite um, things. So we're going to get this ready for later on. I always say add on is later on. Okay, there we go. Reverse. Let's get that out. All right. We are ready for that at the at the second part of this. But we're going to add the rest of our ingredients in. Okay. And I don't know where I put my other little knife. Oh, way over here. All right. So we have our 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 carrots. I'm just going to cut my carrots into chunks, okay, just into chunks, and you need about one cup of carrots, all right, so let me see how much a cup is, all right, uh, I'm going to get a one cup prep bowl out, and I'm going to put it in the one cup prep bowl, because you really need to weigh and measure your ingredients, so you know you have a cup of carrots, all right, so it looks like we're going to need at least two carrots in here, all right, that's one cup, look at, perfect, one cup of carrots is ready to go, 
and I'm going to angle you up just slightly or so. And we're going to start putting this stuff in, in the deluxe cooking blender. We're going to turn it on also. All right. So we're going to add in, okay, one cup of water. Your liquid always goes in first. Then we're going to add in one tablespoon of Italian seasonings. Okay. And let's get the Italian seasonings. Let's just use the same one. Since I'm not the dirty everything, let's just use the one from over there. So we're going to put in one tablespoon of Italian seasonings. There we go. Put that in there. Put the lid back on so we don't um, smush it anywhere. Uh, let's see. We're going to add, we skip the salt. I'm going to do garlic cloves, but before I do that, I'm going to put my carrots in there. Let me see if I can put that over there. We need to get our garlic. Hello, Marsha. I'm back. Hey, Lynn. Hello. I have a voice over dupe. That's because you actually went out and you need to go out and come back in. We have onions. I'm going to add in a little bit of red onion and red and regular onion. So about a quarter cup of onions. Just throw that right in. It's raw. And I have my bell peppers. All right. I just have these small ones I need to use up. And the way I did the bell peppers is I got this little tiny one. I got the core more, which is available in the outlet right now until it sells out. Okay. And you're just going to pull that out and then just go in and scrape out those um, seeds. And I think I got all the seeds, y'all. There wasn't that many seeds in this one and you can open up and see hardly any seeds in this one okay there we go i'm gonna put the yellow one in there we got a uh, zucchini just cut that zucchini down now if it has too many um seeds you may want to take the seeds out but we're doing good just throw that right in there and again it's about mm, a, maybe a cup maybe not even quite a cup let's get that one cup back and put that right in okay so measure your stuff out so yeah you have about a cup of Oh, zucchini also. Look, I'm pretty good at the measuring today. All right, so put that in. All right, and we're going to get some garlic, and I need four cloves of garlic. Now, I got one out, but I'm going to get some other ones out. Now, if you are like me and you have a hard time opening onions uh, or garlic, you can actually use this little garlic tool. It's an onion and citrus peeler, but you can go in and go down like this, and it opens up the garlic cloves for you. Okay, it's a citrus peeler and an onion peeler. All right, so we need four. Oops, that one doesn't look too happy. All right, let's do another one. I think I need onion or garlic on my on my shopping list, y'all. All right, there we go. We got four. Let's put that over there. And what you do is you put this. If you do, if you don't want to try, try and peel the paper off, put it in this little tube. It's a Pamper Chef little garlic peeler. It also comes with a slicer, and you're just gonna roll it right on your countertop. Okay. Let's roll it. Now push down on it a little bit, okay? I'm trying to get all four of them at once, y'all. Okay. And it should come out that it's peeling. One came out great. Let's do another one. Okay. There. Oh, there. Much better. It's getting that paper off. There. One. And we got two more. Two for one, you think? All right. Let's see if we can get two for one. All right, well, it opened up the paper, that's for sure. And I got one little one. This one doesn't want to come out. Oh, it's falling out the other side, y'all. Okay. Ah, that one came out. Look at that one, it even broke it apart. All right, we got that. That, and I gotta get my mess up and put it in the garbage so it's not all over the place. But if it's sticking to my hand, y'all. I need to get it off my hand. There we go. All right, so if you don't like the smell of garlic on your hand, which I don't mind garlic, I just don't like onions, uh, you can rub it on your stainless steel sink, all right? It'll take the smell away. Hello, D. how are you doing? Hello, Aiden, how are you doing? Marsh is back. All right, so what in, we added in here is a quarter cup of water, a tablespoon of Italian seasonings, four garlic cloves, one cup of carrots, one cup of small zucchini, about a quarter of an onion, and then we did the bell pepper in here, okay? Oh, I have enough yucky. We always gotta add the tomatoes, but we'll leave the tomatoes for another time. So we have all of our fresh and raw vegetables in here, all right? And we're gonna turn this on, put this on. There we go, make sure it's all in, all right? And we're gonna go down here, cancel, and we're gonna go down to heat it puree and push the button, all right? It's gonna cook for us. And then when it's done, we're gonna add in the two cans of tomatoes. It'll make noise. It will make noise, okay? There's a quarter cup of water. 
and then we'll add in the tomatoes uh, at the end. Okay, so we're gonna let that go away. It's just or just let it um, cook on its own. We don't have to stand here and watch it. Okay, I'm gonna bring this over to this other side here while that is cooking, and we're gonna make up our meatballs. Okay, because we we're not gonna stand there and watch that, right? Hey, how you doing? You can see it. It's a loud one over there. All right. Everybody's going to say, what are you cooking over there? Well, we're doing the um, the marinara sauce, okay? And I got a little bit of onion. We got a ground pork here. I'm doing meatballs. You can let me know what kind of meatballs do you like. Do you like turkey meatballs, beef meatballs, pork meatballs, nut meatballs, chicken meatballs? Right, we got that. Let's put this away. Oh, we got our, so this one here, I have my own little recipe because I'm not, it's only 10 ounces of ground pork right here. All right. So Lynn likes beef. All right. You're getting ready for bed. All right. That's good. I like beef meatballs. I like, we like pork meatballs. We're going to add in one egg, one egg. All right. All right, we're going to chop up one little onion. All right, just get your onion and, and do it a fine dice, as fine as you can do it. Now, I'm going to do it with a, with a knife, but you can also do it with a food chopper, and that will get it done really, really quick, okay? I'm going to try and do this as fine as I can. Okay. Put it over. I am, I am using a Santuco knife, which you go straight down on it. You pinch it like here and right there. If your paint's coming off your, your um, blade, you're probably eating the paint, okay? Just FYI. But the paint's not coming off. This is a nice little handle. It's lightweight. And um, there we go. So let's just go straight down. Okay. And I'm trying to chop this really, 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 really fine, y'all. Okay? The stronger the, the smaller the cut of the onion, the stronger it is. But we only need a little bit of onion in here. Okay? Just a little bit. Okay? And I think I might have too much, you know? Okay. There. So we already have our sauce being made. All right. There we go. We got our onion all done up. Look how nice that is. All right. Nice. Nice dice. Yes, Alexis. Very, very small. Okay. Got it. All right. You got it. Uh, I put meatballs and sweet or Italian sausage in my spaghetti sauce. Oh, yeah. We do that, too. And we do, do the sausage in there, too. Uh, this one here. All right. So we have one egg. We're going to put in some uh, uh, two tablespoons of breadcrumbs. There we go. Regular breadcrumbs. And I got to get the tablespoons from the other side. There we go. Two tablespoons of breadcrumbs. Again, you can um, do as much or as little as you want. I think I even do less. One and a half. I want the meaty. One and a half. I'm also going to be using some original panko breadcrumbs. Okay, these are a little bit thicker. And I'm going to use one tablespoon of this. There. Okay. There. And let's see. You're, you're too close, Alexis, and blurry. Go out and come back in, Aiden. I don't believe you. Read your comments, says Marsha. Really blurry. Okay. I'm right where I was before. Like I was, I'm right where I've always been at the same distance. Is it better? Beef. Zoom out, Alexis. I, I'm not even zoomed in. That's in. That's out. That's better. I use progression Italian. I do too. Uh, progressive. That's good now. Promise. We were all seeing a blurry super close. No, it's actually the same distance. It must be something with, with uh, haps. Uh, I've, uh, somebody else, Wes, Wes had, had a problem with his, um, uh, cl in close, close in. All right. I, I think I'll put this over on the other side. That in the... Okay. All right. I put that in the, the rest of that in the, um, the blender over there. All right, so we have 10 ounces of pork, one egg, one and a half tea, tea, tablespoons of breadcrumbs, one tablespoon of panko. We're going to do one garlic clove. And I'm going to actually use my garlic press on this one. And push that right out. Get this thing, clean it. There we go. We got our garlic in there. 
And I'm actually going to do two of these because I think that was a little bit of garlic and I want a little bit more. Okay, so let's put this garlic in there. Ah, get that out. There we go. Open it up. The thing comes right out. Okay. All right, we got that going. All right, let's uh, put that there. All right, so let's see. Garlic, onion, Worcestershire. We need a teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce. But before I do that, I'm going to put my garlic and herb because this one is dry and I don't want to put the dry and then the wet. Okay, so I'm going to put in two teaspoons of my garlic and herb in here. There we go. And we're going to do uh, two teaspoons of Worcestershire sauce. Here's the Worcestershire sauce. Uh, uh, did you know that Blaine did break his ankle? Oh, no! Caroline, which is what I suggested. I feel badly for him, says Lynn. Oh my gosh, I did not know that. I missed that somewhere along the way. All right, one and two. I did not know that, Lynn. Yes, he went to the doctor today. Oh my goodness gracious. I'm glad he went. Uh, all good now. Okay, great. All right, thanks. We were all seeing it blurry, super close. It, you know, it, it's, um, I don't know why. It, it must have been. We're going to mix this all up. Needed. Okay, put a lot, of, put more salt in this one because you want to flavor your meat first, okay? And pepper. Okay. And mix this all up. All right, let me see. I got four messages. They're not all good. Yeah, he went. To it's Haps, I think. Lenny, I think it is Haps because um, Wes, the guy that was in my broadcast today, I went to his broadcast and he was really blurry. And his um, screen share was super blurry too. So if you're not familiar with what I do, I'm a Pampered Chef consultant and I teach you how to use your kitchen tools. And today we're doing uh, meatballs, okay? I'm putting it in the batter bowl and I have my scraper. The scrapers are one of the best by Pampered Chef because they never discolor. And if they do discolor, then you just put a little bit of Bon Ami or Barkeeper's Friend. And if it still is, then you just put it out in the sun and they bleach it back right back to white. All right. Uh, weird stuff going on since their update. When was their, when was their last update, Lynn? I think it was Friday, but I've been broadcasting since Friday. I broadcasted all week, weekend. And I don't know what it is. All right. So you see how this is like nicely mixed up. Don't over mix it because then it gets pasty. All right. You don't want it pasty. All right. So we're going to put that down and I'll clean up a little bit and we're going to get um, our stuff ready right here. Hold on. Okay. So I'm not sure if I want to do big ones or medium sized ones. So I think I'm going to do the medium ones, but fill them oversized. This is the large scoop by Pampered Chef. It's about three ounces and it's, it is large. Okay. But I want to cook them a little bit quicker. So I think I'm going to use the medium ones, but go between this. So this is two ounces. This is three ounces. We're going to have about two and a half ounce, um, uh, meatballs, medium. And I'm actually going to be putting it on the stoneware pan by Pampered Chef. This stoneware pan, um, you can put in the air fryer, okay, and it'll get nice and hot. And it has the weave, so it can be preheated and also can be washed and put in the dishwasher. The stoneware has changed a little bit since um, the the um, the old one, okay. So we're gonna get, we're gonna use our hands now, and we're gonna actually scoop this up, okay. I'm gonna do a little over scoop, all right. And we're just gonna put it right in here. I'm gonna see how many we can make, all right. And then we're gonna come back and roll these babies, okay. I, I'm hoping I can get. Um, them all on this one little tray. They don't expand, so I can put them quite close. All right. There we go. Oh, put them a little close. Here. I'm trying to figure out how many I can make. Okay. All right. There. And let's just do three. I think we might make nine. We're going to have to make nine. All right. There we go. Put that one a little bit more. All right. And just scoop them all out first. And then you're going to go back and roll them. All right. And I have a little bit left. And we have a little bit left. Look, it's all gone out of my thing. So we made nine, nine uh, br um, little, little meatballs here. All right. So that's all done. We're going to put that over in the sink. 
And we're going to get these babies, and now we're going to just roll them in our hand. Just roll them in your hand nice and gentle, okay? And put them right down. You're just making them a little compact. Hey, Zoe, how are you doing? Yeah, and then they take longer to cook is right. I don't. I think I want to cook these about 18 minutes, okay? Because I'm putting them in the air fryer, and I don't want them touching either, okay? And it is on the bar pan, which has sides, so it won't go anywhere. Because we're not on top of spaghetti, all covered with cheese. I know, I forgot. I forgot to do the Parmesan cheese in the blender first. Oh, well. That'll be another day. All right, my mom just uses the cheese, and I thought that would be really cool. But we did that with Blaine and uh, Wilson when they were here. We put the Parmesan cheese, the br brick, in the air fryer, and it shredded it down. And it was perfect. All right, there we go. So we have our beautiful um, meatballs, all nine of them, right on here. Wash my hands. All right. Now I'm going to put you over on the other uh, uh, countertop here. Let me put you here so that you can see what I'm doing. Your right hands on right here. Okay. Oh, wait. Let's just leave. Should I just leave you there? No. I need to put you over here. Let's flip you around. No break. Yeah. Where did the break comes? Aiden. You, Aiden. Aiden, you blinked and you missed the breadcrumbs. We already put one and a half tablespoons of breadcrumbs and one tablespoon of, of panko breadcrumbs. So we're going to be using the air fryer today, right? Because it doesn't heat up my whole oven and I'm not going to fry it on my stove. All right. Hey, Lisa Sansusi, how are you doing? So we're going to be doing our, our meatballs in our air fryer. Okay. Put them right in. I have to put in them straight and I'm going to close it up. And if you're doing it in the oven, it's 400 degrees for about 25 minutes. But since we're in the air fryer, you reduce the heat down by 25 degrees. Okay. And I do the time a little bit less. Okay. So I'm going to do bake because oh, cancel. We can do cancel. We can do um, 20 minutes and I'm going to, I'm going to do it up to 325. Okay, and just push the button and it's ready to go. All right, so that's that. We have the um, the marinara sauce. We have hidden veggie marinara sauce being cooked over there. And what we put in there was uh, raw zucchini, carrots, red bell pepper, uh, onions. Yeah, what else will we put in there, y'all? And uh, we'll add in the tomatoes at the end. All right, so we're cooking up all those veggies. This is one way of getting veggies into your diet. And my hair is falling out, y'all. My, my, okay, we have to wash our hands too. So anyway, my little, my little thing is not working today. All right. All right. So let's see. Car yeah. Garlic and carrots. There you go. Garlic and carrots. Oh my gosh. Ed's in the house. Hey, Ed, you need to learn how to cook because then you'll stop crying. Okay. So anyway, let's put this over here and I'm going to put this up there. I'm going to clean some of this stuff up. Okay. Almost done with everything, all right? Put down. Okay. the whole spot so this is what you usually do when everything's in the oven you're cleaning it all up hey Pablo how are you doing hello uh, we are making hidden veggie marinara sauce okay which is super super good and uh, we're doing uh, meatballs the meatballs are already in the air fryer and the sauce is being cooked in the blender all right so what we need to do next is get our spaghetti because the spaghetti is going to take a little while to cook also all right and so I'm going to show you how to do um, your spaghetti all right let me flip the the camera over here it's a heat wave yeah it's it's hot here all right so we have this we have um zucchini which we're going to show you how to do this in a second but i have a spaghetti fork okay and this hole here is to use to measure how much spaghetti per person you need to make okay so and this is part of a set that's pampered chef it's a, it's a silicon and wood utensil set it comes with a spatula a spoon and the spaghetti fork here okay or spoon however you call it and i have my spaghetti here this is like two servings and what i did before i came on camera is i actually measured it out all right and if you put it through here just like this it gives you one serving okay now 
Uh, I know I'm making a little bit extra so that my mom can have lunch tomorrow. And I have one that doesn't want to go in. All right. So that's one, one serving here. And then we have the other serving right there. Okay. So two servings are on here. Now, uh, we are getting storms today, guessing from Claudette. We're, we're getting like rain on and off right now. Okay. Uh, great to hear it's gone and cold. Oh, goodness, Aiden. It's the first day of summer. All right, so what I'm gonna, how I'm gonna cook this spaghetti that's right here, I have a 12 inch um, fry or a skillet right here and there's water already inside. We're gonna turn it on. I should turn it on before this, all right? And we're gonna get it nice and hot and then we're gonna plop our spaghetti in here. But before we do that, we're gonna actually put in some salt. Salt is gonna raise the temperature of your water to make it hotter and it'll cook a little bit quicker, okay? It may take longer to come to, um, to boil, but the thing is, this is in a, it's a shallow pan. It's not a whole lot of water. And when you dump your, your spaghetti right in here, it lays flat, okay? So we're gonna add some sh uh, salt. And again, we have to salt our pasta, all right? Because otherwise it's gonna be very, very bland, all right? Just put the lid on it and let that come to boil. It's gonna take less time when you use a 12 inch skillet than if it's a deep pot with a lot of water in it. And then you're heating up your whole house for the summer. So these are, these are heat saving tips while cooking during the summer, all right? One, use an air fryer. I'm using my cooking to blender rather than putting on my stove and putting the heat on in here. And I'm only put, putting the heat on for the water right here. The water is in a shallow pan, so it's gonna take less time to heat up and less time um, uh, heating up my house, all right? So we got that going. We're gonna wait until that, that comes through. And I'm gonna put this on the other side because we're gonna also shred up our zucchini right here. So if you're looking to like, um, like help your calories, you can do a zucchini and make noodles out of the zucchini. All right. And let's see, we're going to use, all right. So we're going to use, this one here is a julienne peeler. And I got, oops, I got stuff on this one here. That's for flying around. Got some jelly on this one. Let me get that jelly off. Don't know where that came from flying in my kitchen here. All right, so we have the julienne peeler, all right? And this one here uh, makes julienne slices of your zucchini, all right? So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna go straight down and look at this. This juliennes everything right up. Like how simple this is. This comes in a set with a regular peeler and a serrated peeler, okay? And everybody needs a good peeler in their life, okay? And there you go. And have two peelers in your life because when you're doing potatoes for a large crowd, you really want uh, people to peel. All right, so this is pretty cool. I put a bit of hamburger in the sauce too, okay? I was going to grill chicken breasts and sweet potatoes sliced outside, but I had a flash flood and a small tornado came through. Well, Molly, gee Molly, that is just awful. So is are you okay? It, was it, do you have any damage from, from it? Where are you at? Where are you at? Why? Wow, I think I don't think I even be broadcasting if that was me. All right, so I'm going to turn around this way. Now, this is only the um, this here is only for me. I don't need to make it for my mom, so I'm not going to do up a whole lot of this. Okay, this should be good enough for me. All right, maybe one more. There we go. All right, I'm going to put this in my refrigerator and I'll use it tomorrow. Woo! That um, blender is going to town. I'll be right back. So it's beeping at us over here. So we need to flip the camera back. All right. And we have the uh, hidden veggie marinara sauce ready to go. It says, and all right. So we're going to click cancel and remove the vented kit and carefully add the tomatoes, replace the cap and put on speed two and cut to blend for 30 seconds. All right. So the sauce is going to be done before everything else. All right. Now I'm going to take off the cap, the lid. All right. I'm going to add our two cans of diced tomatoes. If you have any other, you can use any type of tomatoes in here. As long as it's like a, a big can, I'm put a little water in here. Just swish it out just a little bit, all right? And this one here, put that right in. Again, these cans are already um, uh, cooked, all right? So we had raw veggies going in here. I'm going to replace my lid, and then we're going to put it on here, uh, cancel. And we're going to do custom blend. Yep, we have custom blend. 
and we're going to go up to speed two, and we're going to um, push it on for 30 seconds to combine the tomatoes and the veggies in our sauce. Already really high. It's 120 degrees in there. Colder than six months ago. Crazy. It's going to grill. Okay. There you go. I, I don't think I have any more things. Our sauce is done. Look at that. Okay. A couple of trees fell about a block up, knocked out the electric, and we have a solar panels on the front porch, and we're okay. There you go. You're okay. You're fine. You're fine. All right. Um. Phew. That was a lot. I'm in Pittsburgh. Why do I get none? tornadoes in Pittsburgh. All right, so we got our sauce done. We want to taste it, okay, because we need to know if we need to put anything else in there. All right, hello, Gina. How are you doing? Gina, Jan! I'm on Periscope. You're on Periscope. How are you doing over there? Are you lonely? Come on over to Haps. All right, so let's get our little cup out. We have a little tasting cup there. Tasting cup, all right? And we'll get a little spoon. A little spoon, take that off, put a little bit in there, all right, I'm going to put my lid down, put that down on the side, and now we're just going to taste our marinara sauce. We still have about 11 minutes for the uh, meatballs to be done, okay? Mmm. All right, there's nothing needs to be changed on this. Alexis likes it. There's absolutely nothing that needs to be changed on that recipe. All right, let's rinse that out. Let's put our lid back on. Keep it nice and hot. All right, we're gonna cancel that off. And all we have to do is boil up our noodles, okay? Good, yeah, that's great. That's great. 13, view 13 viewers. There are oh, 13 viewers on Periscope. Oh, okay. All right, so we're gonna come back over here because our water is boiling. There we go, our water's boiling. We have our salt in here. We're gonna add our pasta. Okay, just add your pasta right there. Oops. I'm gonna you this around a little bit. All right. Keep that like that. It's gonna take about eight minutes to, to do this. And I got 10 minutes left on my um, my air fryer. Okay, so let's see. Uh, Periscope is still up and running for those of you that can get into it. And now I'm frozen on time here. Here we go doesn't like me switching around here. So Periscope is up. Eric is here. Hello, Eric. Um, so Periscope is up and it's running. You just can't broadcast from there unless you um, did something. You know who I haven't seen? Gina. Is um, Sam from down under New Zealand. Uh, yeah, from New Zealand. Is Sam over there? Because he was doing a countdown and or count up of how many days he can broadcast on there because he was still, he was broadcasting when it went down and uh, he sent me a message, but I haven't heard from him I think in two months. I haven't seen him. I don't know where he went. All right. Okay. So let's, that's my, my, um, pasta is doing good. Now a while back, I used to put oil in my pasta, but it's not really good to put oil in your pasta. I always thought, Oh, I'll put, I'll, I'll trick that pasta from sticking. I'll put some oil in there. But when you do that, then your pasta does not, your sauce does not stick to the pasta. Did he, he did. He did. I remember. Yeah. He had a, he had a count up or whatever. I haven't seen him either. You haven't seen him, Gina? And Gina, oh my gosh, you're from Chicago. <laughs> Gina's from Chicago. I think I got that right, Gina. All right. All right, we can put this all away. I would love to have a pot of butter. Oh, Wayne Wiley, I love butternut squash soup in that blender there. It is the best. Now, sweet potatoes, I'd rather eat a whole sweet potato. Personally, I like it that way. Okay, oops, my water's boiling over here. All right, I'm trying to put some stuff away while I'm talking to y'all so I'm ready to go and everything's all cleaned up too. We only have a few more minutes left. We're cooking up our pasta, our our uh, meatballs are being cooked, and the uh, pasta, is, the sauce is already done in the blender, okay? And this sauce is zero points on my Weight Watcher thing. Uh, the zucchini is zero points. I just have to count for a little bit of the pasta I'm going to be putting in there and the meatballs, okay? I made it. I made that tonight in the Iranian stew. There you go. 
Oh, you put the, you know, you had, you had a couple, um, uh, vegetarian vegans and, um, uh, what are they called? Plant-based people in your, in your broadcast Aiden. And they're saying, where's your starch? And I was like, girlfriends, the sweet potatoes are the starch. <laughs> I was like, sweet potatoes are a starch. I was like, and it's orange that was in there. So I love spaghetti with marinara sauce. I love Prado. It's the best. I use it for the spaghetti. Eric, uh, I do my own. I like, I like different sauces in the jar when it's in a pinch. But if you're trying to eat healthier and taking out the salt uh, content, and uh, let me get a jar and I'll show you the difference. Okay. I don't, I, oh, I do like this jar stuff. Well, they improved the video quality. Yeah, Gina Jen, they, they really did. Uh, let's see. So. So this is a jar of sauce that I have that's in my refrigerator and I did put the date of when I opened it up and I have a little um, uh, paper towel on here so it absorbs the moisture and it doesn't get yucky on the top of my lid here. My lid stays nice and clean. It doesn't get that black look all over it. My clean, my lid's clean and you know when you open it up. Uh, this one is, this one, I couldn't even find this in the grocery store. It was one of those buy one get one free and it's super thick. I love this one. All right, so this one here has five servings in it, has a total of five grams of fat. Uh, the sodium, now get this, the sodium is 14%. There's a lot more sodium in this can, all right? Uh, dietary five protein is two. It has five grams of fat. Did you see me put any fat into that blender over there? There's no fat. The sodium's lower over there, and you also have veggies in there. This one here calls for, let me see, it says Italian tomatoes, which you already put that in there, onions, we did that, sunflower oil, basil, we can put basil in over in ours, that would be really good, sugar, there's sugar in here, we did not add any sugar over there, because we use the, the carrots are sweet, and also the bell peppers are really sweet, so we added veggies into ours that are hidden, we added carrots, zucchini, and uh, red bell peppers in there, uh, extra virgin olive oil, is sea salt, and garlic, so this one's pretty good, this one's pretty good, okay, uh, let's see what else we have. All right, that's the only one I have. I have one other one that has three cheeses in it, and that would be really high in sodium. I love meatballs with my spaghetti. We do too. Uh, what kind of meatballs do you like at your spaghetti, Eric? Do you like beef meatballs, turkey meatballs, chicken meatballs, uh, nut meatballs? You can make meatballs out of nuts. Um, and I have pork meatballs. We're making pork meatballs here today, okay? The, lo the rat, okay, so Missy Mouse says the uh, R-A-O, I can't say R-A-O, you know me and my pronunciation is really bad, is low sugar and they taste great. There you go. Beef, beef meatballs. We do, we do pork. We grew up on pork and we do the pork ones, okay? So they're a little bit more tender, I think. Uh, let's see. Wow, they, yeah, they did. Let's see. I think I got everybody's comments here. I got everybody's. There you go. We got everybody's comments. I'm so good. Wow. All right, let's look at our, our pasta. And I got five minutes left on my, I'm gonna, I'm gonna peek inside, y'all. Let's see if we can. Oh, I think they're almost done, y'all. Five minutes might be too long. All right, so let's leave this. I'm gonna show you what it looks like, okay? There's, there's the um, air fryer. I'm gonna open it up, we're gonna turn this on. It's probably 95 degrees in my house. It says 75. And they are nice and brown, y'all. So they are at 170, they are done. They are, I'm gonna leave it in there for one more minute and make sure it's cook, cooked all the way through. It does say to uh, cook it to 170 and it's already at 170, just one more, two more minutes, okay? Alexis, have you ever cooked hamburgers in the air fryer? No, I haven't, because you know what? I don't like to put things that, that spray like I did a rotisserie chicken and it like had drippings all over the place. I was forever cleaning because I'm a, uh, I'm a, I like, I have to keep everything super clean in case you all stop by. <laughs> then you look at my air fryer and like, man, that's all grease in there. Hey, Toby, how are you doing over on Facebook? All right. So let's angle this down and my uh, pasta is almost done, y'all. Let me see if I can turn you there. All right. It's going straight down now. All right. Let's put this lid over here and taste up our pasta. Still needs a while to go on here. All right. Still needs a little bit. Turn it up. It's a little bit harder harder than authentic. 
Does a pork not make grease in the mess? Mm -mm. No. Uh, well, let's we'll take a look and look. Okay, we'll take a looky look once that's done. Sorry, I can put that there. We still need, I should have done the pasta sooner. Why can't you all tell me to put the pasta water on when I show me about the pasta? We've been all done at once. We got the sauce done, we're getting the meat done, then we have the pasta done. It'll all be put together. All right. So what are you having for dinner tonight? What are you having for dinner tonight? Wayne, Toby, Toby already ate. Aiden already ate. Gina, what are you eating for dinner? Tammy, what you having for dinner? Ding dong, I'm coming to your house. Missy Mouse, what are you making? Because it's only it's only um, something to five there. It's something to six here. Frozen pizza. Oops, bubbling over on me. Frozen pizza. Did you freeze it from a fresh pizza or is it like the journals? Not in the mood to cook, says Gina. <laughs> I'm not sure yet. Quick spaghetti. Well, lemony beef and broccoli stir fry, says Missy Mouse. Oh, man, you go, girl. You go, girl. Lemony beef. I had pasta says um, Toby. What should you have with your pasta? You can't have pasta on pasta. Although my mom's going to really enjoy this menu. She did not like the chicken yesterday because she doesn't like chicken, but she she bought the chicken from QVC, y'all, and I got to use it up. So stop buying the chicken, mom, if you don't like to eat the chicken, right? I got dough, just throwing it in the ingredients. There you go. I love, I love that. I love making pizza at home. My mom likes uh, store-bought pizza or restaurant. She likes restaurant pizza. Restaurant pizza. Um, hey, there. There we go. Oh my gosh. Let me... I'll be back. We'll be back to get you there. Making new accounts lately? Making lots of new accounts? Where are my, where are my people at? There we go. I had garlic and... Oh, you had garlic and... Oh, I love that. That's so good. I made meatloaf. Meatloaf, meatballs the other day, so yummy. I'm going to keep on talking because I like to talk. I like to annoy trolls, y'all. So, all right, so my um, spaghetti is almost done, and I'm actually going to smooch it over, and we're going to add in our our um, zucchini here. Okay, let's get that out. Yeah, those are beautiful. All right, so that's all done. We're making less and less noise in the kitchen. All right, just put this on the one side, and I'm going to add my... Um, zucchini noodles in here okay this is one way of you know just cheating on yourself or you know getting an extra veggie in and using half pasta so i'm going to use all this in line and a little bit of pasta and we'll be ready to go so that's just way of you know hey it looks the same look at this the same thickness and everything y'all let's put that in there we got that oh yummy yummy in my tummy all right so we got that mm-hmm Oh my goodness, where are my, where are my um, moderators out there? Let's go back. Oh, you know, Troll, I tell you what, you're doing great today. Uh, if I mute anybody by accident, I'm sorry. There we go. Oh, keep going, keep on going. Yeah, keep going there, uh, Troll. <laughs> We're going to talk, talk, talk till to the to the cows come home i guess i have no idea who is this gina i have no idea who that is no idea you'll be a moderator okay gina jen i'll put you down as a moderator anybody else wants to be a moderator <laughs> let me just write it down no oh i don't miss those tro i know uh toby this troll is relentless they have a lot of accounts because they like they like me, they like Karen Sue, they like Erlene, they like Vanita, they like Randy Hort. And I tell you what, these are all people on social media that this person just loves, 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 loves. So anyway, hey, for those of you who are just coming in late, my name is Alexis. I'm an independent consultant for Pampered Chef. And if you want to get a couple of your friends together and have a cooking class like I'm doing right now uh, on Facebook or even on Messenger, please reach out to me. I'd love to do this for you. Or even a Zoom meeting, okay? If you want to get a couple of people together and say, hey, I know this girl and she wants to cook for us and show us how to use a couple tools in the kitchen please reach out to me because then we can either do a share rewards party like we did this past week where everybody gets a discount or you can take the host rewards and get some really great kitchen tools into your kitchen and then you be cooking just like me y'all all right so i can help you spend money save money or actually earn money by becoming a pampered chef consultant you do not have to go live on being a consultant but if you do that even helps you out better because people like to see you not just post pictures okay uh yeah sure <laughs> 
Uh, okay, I'll be one. Okay, wait, I gotta write your name down so I, I got it spelling right. T A M M or M M Y L seven one. Okay, soldier, thank you so much for the yummy award. Wow, they have not. They have nothing better to do. They don't have a job. Hey, Lexus, I'll be one for you. Okay, Tammy, I got you down. Okay, I got you down. Sorry, I've been doing my dishes. Says um, says um, Aiden. I'll be doing dishes after this, but most of them are already done up. They're already sitting over there. We got the marinara sauce and everything ready to go. All right. So let me see how my pasta is here. Okay. Let's see. I don't want to eat all this pasta. I don't know why the pasta is taking forever to cook. Mm -mm. Just a little bit longer. Just a little bit longer. All right. Let's get some uh, bowls out. I just use Instagram and Facebook now. Do one troll. Do one troll. What do you mean do one troll? You know, I love spaghetti. My mom loves spaghetti too. There we go. There we go. Hello, uh, Lucia from Santa Domingo. We, are hidden, we just made some hidden veggie marinara sauce that got done before everything else. We made some meatballs in the air fryer. Yes, we use the air fryer. And now we're doing the pasta in the 12 inch skillet because we don't want to heat up the entire house, but it is getting a little warm in here. Okay. So we got that. And let me get the, um, the, the, um, uh, what do they call it? Meatballs out. All right. Let's get some. I'm Miss Wright and I'm Mr. Luck. And together we're a team to help Alexis protect Alexis's fingers from getting burnt. Let's go get the meatballs. Okay. Let's go get the meatballs. This in and I'll bring them all around. And our meatballs, look at that nice and brown caramelized meatballs. They are so good. Yes, they are so good. <laughs> so, anyway, oh, that's a different one there. I didn't on a all right. So, let's put that back in. We're gonna just keep them nice and hot and we get some bowls out. Put that, oh, I got a pen over here. Pen goes there, back into there. Two bowls, two different color bowls. So Pampered Chef has these bowls. They are um, stoneware bowls, are glazed. All right, uh, they're made in the United States. Okay, but they you can use them has like uh, family size portions, you know, to put out on your table, or you can use them for like stews, chilies, and spaghetti. Okay, so and it comes in two colors, the gray stone or the sandstone. All right, so we're gonna get that. All right, there we go. I think. I think my spaghetti is already done. It looks it looks good. I can tell that it's done because it's puffed up. The spaghetti's puffed, y'all. Let's try a little bit more. Yep, totally done. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Okay. Thank you, Lucia, for the yummy award. I appreciate it. Thank God I just had dinner. This is, looks delicious. Wait until you see the sauce. The sauce is homemade, y'all. From scratch marinara sauce and it didn't take us that long I think it took us like 20 minutes to make that sauce I gotta go back and write down how much time it took all right hidden veggie marinara sauce yeah it's not as red as the other the jar sauces but if you want to put a little dye in there go right and put some dye in here but it, it has um, zucchini carrots onions ca um, garlic red bell peppers in here and tomatoes okay and it tastes fabulous. I did not even have to doctor it up whatsoever. Okay. So what do you like with your, with your spaghetti? Okay, let me get this out of here. Let's, let's do this. I remember that Pennsylvania food you made. Pennsylvania food. What Pennsylvania? I do. I actually ask people, what's your favorite food? And I said, American food. I do a, um, variations of American Italian, American Tex-Mex. Okay. But just American just American basic. Okay. Um, but I do like to go out for Thai food, thin spaghetti. Ah, I should use thin, but we got the regular spaghetti noodles Lynn. Okay. So let's put this down and we're going to plate it up. Okay. There we go. Let's do my mom in this one here. Okay. Don't worry if you get a little liquid in here. I'm not even draining it off. She needs a little more. I remember I put two servings of pasta in there. Okay. So we got our pasta here and then I have mine, which has the zucchini. We did zucchini noodles for myself. And these are just regular right from the zucchini. We'd use a um, julienne peeler. And so we're going to put that in. I have a couple little noodles in there on that one. Okay. I'm going to use up all my little noodles. Okay. And I'm going to actually add a couple extra little noodles to mine. Okay. 
So now I have zucchini noodles and regular noodles mixed in. All right. Let me get some of these other little green noodles out. Okay, whoops. My mom's going to say, what's that green noodle in here? Keeps the freaking around. Okay, there we go. Let's get that one out. All right. So look how pretty that is. Isn't that pretty? Rather than this regular pasta. And this one's healthier for you. Okay. So we're going to put that down. We're going to add in our marinara sauce. Okay. Just right out of here. Just add in some marinara sauce. There we go. Okay. Oh, look at that. Uh-huh. Oops. I'm dripping it. Okay. A little more marinara sauce. Don't worry. We have enough leftovers. Okay. You can freeze the leftovers and use them in other things. Or just do a soup. I'll probably have soup for that tomorrow. Okay. Now we have our meatballs. I'm going to get my meatballs out. Get my helper out. And let's see if I can get the meatballs off. So we have the meatballs. All right. You can see they're nicely cooked. And we cook them right on. And there's not a whole lot of oil here. And I forget who asked if, if there's going to be a lot of oil in my uh, air fryer. Okay. So we're going to put in probably three meatballs per serving at least. Okay. There, one, two, and three. There. Oh, that's nice. All right. And look, see that? Now I can wash this, uh, just put it under hot water and scrape it with a scraper. We'll clean it right up. But the new Stonewater by, by Pampered Chef, you can actually um, put it in the, dish, in the dishwasher. And there's no there's a little bit of grease in there, but not much. All right, I'm going to flip this around and then we can end the broadcast because I got to go eat now, y'all. Okay, so let's flip the thing around. I'm going to show you inside of the air fryer and there's just a little bit, just a tad bit of grease way back there. Okay. And just a tad bit on here. You can't really see it, but it has a little bit of tad, but I'll just wipe this down. It does, the doors do come off. You just push these in and you can take the doors off to clean the door. Okay. Don't submerge or anything. Just wipe it down. All right. You love your air. I love this air fryer. All right. So we have our hidden veggie marinara sauce and, um, uh, pasta with our, um, noodles here or our, our, our uh, meatballs, meatballs and spaghetti. This one actually has uh, spaghetti zucchini noodles in it. Okay. So thanks for coming in everybody and spending a little bit of your time. Hopefully you found value. If you want the recipes, please reach out to me. I will send them to you or you can join my VIP group and I'll post it in there. Okay. So thanks for coming and uh, <laughs> I'll see you all next time. All right. This is a, this was a good broadcast. All right. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye-bye.